Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie and I am a domestic wannabe. Happy New Year. Today is officially 2024 and I am really excited for the new year. And I had very, very big plans, as I often do, to really jumpstart the new year today by doing a full house reset so that I could tackle a brand new plan that I have put in place to organize, declutter, and make my home what I want it to be. Now, where I'm going with that is I wanted to do the first reset of the house, officially take down Christmas. I have been working on it since Christmas. I took down everything but the tree and a few light, light stuff. Today was going to be the tree and then again a home reset. So we were going to do the bathrooms. We were just going to get everything picked up and clean so that the decluttering of the new system could really get started tomorrow or on Wednesday, whichever day it ends up working out well. Well, I spent the last two days of the year sick and I am starting the new year sick. What I'm excited about and why I think this is an okay thing is what I have planned in my new system allows for that. It allows for you to have big grandiose plans of getting from top to bottom, the whole house picked up in a house reset on the weekend to realize, you know what, I don't feel good, I'm overwhelmed, I'm whatever the case may be kind of thing, that you could maybe just do a couple things and still feel good about it. So I will go into my full plan of action later this week because I'm gonna be honest, I had full intentions of doing this all in one video, but I don't feel good and uh, this is the second time I'm trying to fill them, film this and I had already gotten into a coughing fit which now has given me a raging headache. I'm just going to kind of walk you through how today adjusted from a full home reset to a just basic I'm tired, I don't feel well reset. And where it's going to start and what I'm excited to really go in detail with with you is coming up. but. I have created a card system. What I did is I took stock of every room, every cabinet in my house, and I put what needs to be done on them on a four by six card. I am going to systematically work through these cards and I will go again very in, de in detail into how I've decided to set this up because if you know me, you know I take inspiration from Fly, from Fly Lady, from the Clutterbug. I take inspiration from them, but I tend to want to create my own, not only my own content and my own versions of things, but I like to do things my own way and I'm thinking and I've had comments from people saying, just start your own thing. Fine, like now that you know how to do it, you've got these ideas, you know how it works, make it your own. And that's what this is. And I am a list maker at heart. If you have followed me for a while, you know I love a good list. And enter a easy peasy list machine. Now I use the Fly Lady app. I loved it, but it always reset and I was only getting like the same five rooms done in the zones, in, in that kind of cleaning. My weekly home resets were only the upstairs. Lower level of my home really has not gotten the attention in two years that it deserves. Aside from when I moved the office, the playroom, when I did my four room switcheroo, which you can check out, which you can check out, these spaces really have not gotten a decluttering or a deep clean. Well, I suppose back I did declutter in the bar area at one point. Any, I digress. What I, what I need for myself is a system that rotates just like Fly Lady Zones, but allows me to hit all of the areas in my home. And what I hope is if you like this system, you can just take it inspiration, but create your own system for your home. And I'm gonna go into details later this week on this whole system because again, today I, I can't even really wrap my head around really sharing it in detail with you when I feel like this. So within the next week, I promise I will get it filmed. I will get it out to you so you can see exactly what it is 
that I'm doing. But it is a card system. I'm very excited about it. Today was supposed to be a full home reset and instead I adjusted it to be a <clears throat> quick house reset because I didn't have a lot of energy. I did. I didn't want to put a lot of time into it because I know in myself I will push myself to do whatever I had on the list, whatever my intention was. With this system, I know uh, I can pivot when I need to. And today, even though I have great ambitions to go and like take on the world and reset the whole house so that tomorrow when I'm back to work, everything is in a good place and I can really start in one section of the house decluttering without the worry of the rest of the house, I know my body needs rest or tomorrow I'm not gonna be working at all. So I did minimal work and all I really did is think of if I was really stressed out but I just wanted to see something in my house because if you're like me, seeing clutter, seeing piles can really be stressful. It can kind of be overwhelming to get other things done or be productive or allow myself to rest and relax. And I, since Christmas, I have let my son play with his toys. Our kitchen table has been covered in new crafts and um, Play-Doh and just like the gambit of things. There are games everywhere. There's toys everywhere. And because we've been sick the last few days, I didn't even make him pick up anything. I was just like, because he's, he was the, he, he is, um, patient zero of this cold. So it's really just been like, if I can keep him, keep him from overdoing it himself and just kept his stuff in one area so he could rest and relax. And I am amazed, just as a side note, I'm amazed how a five-year-old can lay down and rest for like five, 10 minutes and then jump back up and they are ready to rock and roll where I'm like, I just need five hours. <laughs> I just need five hours of rest and then I can do the dishes. Anyway, I decided, you know what my home, a whole, whole, whole home reset looks like. What would a quick one look like? And for me, it was one, especially just in the main living spaces, um, gather trash, gather any dirty laundry because I never understood this until I had a child that just like took off their socks and their clothes like and left them wherever they're standing like there's just piles of clothes now around my house and I'm like how does this keep happening I, again I digress never understood it until having a child so <clears throat> I gathered up today it was like six socks just in random places and then um, I took a laundry basket and this, the laundry basket idea originally came from uh, Butt First Coffee and I've loved it ever since. But I took a laundry basket, I put all the games, all the toys inside of it because I do need to find a home for all of these new toys that came in, but I'm not doing it today. But I needed them out of the main living space. So I put them all into a basket and then I can focus on the basket later this week when I'm feeling up to it. And when I'm feeling up to it is gonna be when I'm able to tackle a few other areas that these things will go into, right? Um, so I did the laundry basket. And then a quick reset would also, if there was time, maybe include toilets and vacuuming the floors. And I, again, just vacuumed the main living. So our kitchen rug, cause there was Play-Doh and some molding sand that had fallen on it and crumbs. So I did that and then I did um, where the tree was because we did take down the tree as well. And my husband helped tag team it. My son helped pick up toys. Our family room and our dining area are now all picked up, all clean. And I can officially say I don't feel good. I've done a lot. These main areas that we've been spending time in and because there's been no school, I have been back in there working so I can be by my kiddo um, just with the, like a lap board to do computer stuff. The, the visual clutter is gone and I know the floors are vacuumed. I just, it feels good. Do I still have a lot to do? Absolutely. And I did do a little upstairs tour just to see January 1st where we are starting. Uh, none of us are really going to be playing downstairs or messing with downstairs. So I will do that 
when I, sh I will do a full home tour of where I am starting with my new system. I'm excited to share all of this with you guys. I'm sorry that this is day one, that it didn't go as planned, but I think if you all just know, like if you are in your own journey, things don't go as planned and that's okay. And one of the things I have probably learned the most from my two years of trying these different systems is it's okay to not do it perfect. Something is better than nothing. And I was the person that needed to be perfect and I have learned from the kindness of comments, I don't have to be like that. And I can honestly say I don't feel like that anymore. Like it is what it is. I'm very happy with whatever can get done um, when I'm feeling like this. And um, it, it, with time, it'll come. All things do come together and a little bit is something better than nothing. So what I got done today, it felt like a lot because I was like winded at one point. <laughs> I did more than I anticipated and it just, it feels good to be done with it and to know that that area is picked up and clean and looks good. So I have more to come on my card system and how I have set that up. I also, uh, in my previous video, talking about my 39 by 39, I am working on all of those. And just as a little motivation and some fun, again, I'm working on a bingo. So every two weeks, I'm gonna make a bingo card and I'm going to decide what is gonna happen if I get a coverall for myself every two weeks because I want there to be some kind of fun reward at the end. And I color coded this one to, so I knew what I was actually focusing on, like primarily the next two weeks, uh, new year, that kind of thing. My health is the biggest one. And I think that's basically the, been the focus for a while. And everything else kind of falls into place, right? But if we don't have our health, it's really hard to get anything else done. So um, this is the goal. I think it's really attainable. It's all just small things. It's not like super duper huge big things. Uh, and I plan on working on this for the next two weeks. So the first through the 14th of January and each one is just one step closer to getting to my 39 by 39. So I hope you stick with me for a domestic wannabes way of finding a cleaning system that works for me. I, I really can't wait to tell you more. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will be seeing you in just a few days. Bye.